Welcome back to this month's edition of Spotlight and Edmonds Real Estate Show. My name is Wayne Purser. I'm a local realtor with Cole Banker Bain Real Estate Services, downtown Edmonds, located just footsteps from the fountain in Edmonds. This month, I have a special guest, Lee Tenebo of L10 Photography. We'll also talk about this Edmonds Real Estate Weather Report, and then we'll end up with a question from the person on the street. Right now, I'd like to introduce a good friend of mine and my professional photographer for real estate listings, Lee Tenebo. Welcome. Thank you, Wayne. Thanks for inviting me. You bet. Um, so photography, how did you get involved in it? Oh, gosh. I started when I was probably four years old. My grandma had a, a brownie camera, and I was fascinated by looking down into a camera and seeing the view <laughs> out front. And my first camera was probably one of those little 110 Instamatics that was just super grainy, but... It was always fun having to be able to get the magic of the photos when you pick them up from the from the developer. And then I've just progressed ever since on to digital, which was to me the best invention ever. Right. So um, to real estate photography, what got you into that? Uh, a friend of mine several years ago suggested, knew that I was looking for something new, knew that I've always been a, a, a camera buff. and and love taking photos and he offered to mentor me and advise me and teach me what I needed and how to do it and um, and would help me get started and he did and it was the best decision I've ever made. I just absolutely love it. Right. Well, as, as you know and I, we've looked on the internet for different types of uh, real estate listings uh -huh. and we've seen pictures of do-it-yourself or the agents taking the picture yes. or professional. So what's your thoughts and comments? Well, you only get one chance to make a first impression. So you really want, when people are looking for a home, I, I think it's something like 90% now look online versus driving around and pulling the flyers out of the boxes. So you want to make sure that the photos really represent the property to its best uh, um, ability. And non-professional photos can have the walls look like they're caving in, they're not vertical. The lighting is terrible. They can have yellowish tones. They can be muddy looking. They're not lit properly. So composition and lighting are very, very important when it comes to photos, especially online. And you just can't get that with a point and shoot or a cell phone. It just, it, they're just not capable. Right, and it, which is fabulous because you've made my life very easy with my listings, uh, presenting and showcasing them. Um, what are some, uh, two or three uh, ideas or suggestions you could have for sellers to prepare for your pictures? The best thing they can do is declutter. Um, you want the photos to look as clean and more like a model home. So pull all unnecessary objects off of counters, out of shower stalls and bathtubs and uh, off desks, um, move pet food dishes uh, outside, pull the garden hoses, pull um, grill covers off, garage doors closed. So basically declutter and then clean. Uh, Streak-free mirrors are a huge mm -hmm. thing and light bulbs. Make sure all light bulbs are working and of consistent wattage. Right. Um, yeah, so again, pictures, photography makes the house become a showcase, Absolutely. which is so. Uh, I'd like to thank Lee for being here, a special guest from L10 Photography. Now we're going to move on to our next segment, which would be our Spotlight and Edmonds Real Estate Weather Report. Welcome back to this edition of Spotlight and Edmonds Real Estate Weather Reports. Uh, a little more information about my chart here for the weather temperature. Um, what we have is from 40 degrees to 70 degrees is typically a standard normal market, which would be homes on the market for four, five, or six months. We have not seen this type of condition since well before 9-11, which was 2001. Currently, for the last decade, we have either been feast or phantom. And so now with weather temperatures in the 80s or 90s are meaning that we have market times of less than 90 days, so it's a seller's market. Sellers are in control of the listings and sale price. And so that's why we're having multiple offers. We have several buyers for not a lot of listings. As I move into the current weather report, Edmond, zip code 020, we currently have 30 listings on the market, 40 homes that are pending sales, and then 22 that were sold in December of 2015 with a weather temperature of 73 degrees. That would tell us that we need about 80 
to 90 days of market time, which is not true because there are homes that have sold that have been on the market well into the 400 day range, 200 range day, 150. So it's really skewed the market time. Market time is actually really less than 45 days if you price your home correctly. Rates have overall gone down this month. They had a slight bump up in December, first part of January, but they've gone back down. In Edmonds, 026 area code, we have uh, 54 listings, 72 pendings, 42 sold in December of 2015 with a weather temperature of 78, with days on market about 41. In South Snohomish County, we have Muckleteal, Briar, Linwood, Mount Lake Terrace, and Mill Creek. 196 current listings, 279 pending sales, and 196 sold in December of 2015 for a temperature of plus 90 degrees. Days on market about 34. Um, as a traditional uh, end of the year, Christmas time, less listings, all the solds catch up and that's why we have a high temperature in South Snohomish County. Shoreline, no change. Through 39 listings, 41 pendings, 79 solds for a temperature of 100 plus. They have had several Homes don't even make it on the market. They get sold out by private parties immediately uh, before they get listed, so which skews the numbers there. So the days on market is just days uh, in the Shoreline area. That wraps up our Spotlight and Edmonds Real Estate Weather Report. Now let's check in with a question from the person on the street. So Wayne, what can people do to improve the value of their home? That's a great question. Home improvements will increase the value of your home. But we also know that location is a top priority for buyers. But you can do a few little simple steps to improve your value by improving the first room home buyers see, upgrade your appliances, improve the appearance of the bathrooms, a uh, fresh coat of paint is a good idea, and then also improve the entryway and the front door. These are five simple things that can help you uh, improve the value of your home. I want to thank you again for tuning in to this month's edition of Spotlight and Edmonds Real Estate Show, and we look forward to seeing you 